to calculate the number of batteries you need for your inverter, there are a few factors you need to take into consideration. Greetings to you and welcome to my channel. Please do let me know where you are watching from. Now, there are different methods or different ways, you know, different installers or system designers can use to determine the uh, number of batteries uh, that are required for an inverter to be powered. So uh, the first factor you need to take into consideration is the inverter's DC nominal input voltage. Now, uh, we have the inverter. This is our inverter. Then we have the battery bank here, positive, negative. So we have DC. So uh, you know the inverter takes DC and converts to AC. Now, the DC voltage that is required for the inverter, that is the DC input voltage. Remember, the inverter has the DC input and the AC output. So all inverters, they have what is called DC input voltage. So you need to know the DC input voltage of that inverter. We have uh, 12 volts inverters. We have 24 volts. We have uh, uh, even 36 volts. We have 48 volts. We have other uh, inverters with of a higher capacity with higher DC nominal input voltage. So if you know the DC nominal input voltage of the inverter, from here you can calculate the number of batteries. That is the minimum number of batteries that are required for that inverter to be powered because you need to connect this inverter to a battery bank before the inverter will be powered. So if the inverter or the battery bank does not meet up with the DC input voltage of that inverter, the inverter will not uh, on. It will not be powered. So if you have your batteries, for example, it is a 12 volt uh, inverter and you have 12 volt batteries, it means you only need a minimum of one 12 volt battery to power the 12 volt inverter. Now, if because we have batteries with different voltage. We have uh, two volt batteries. We have eight volt va uh, batteries. We have 12 volt batteries. Then lithium batteries, we have 24 and 48 volt batteries. So if you have a six volt batteries, if you want to know the minimum number of batteries that are required to connect to this, to this inverter for it to be powered, you divide the nominal DC input voltage by your battery voltage so if your inverter dc input voltage requirement is 12 volts and you have a six volt batteries you just divide 12 by you know six volts this will cancel it means you need uh, a minimum of two pieces of uh, six volt batteries now if you have six volt batteries two in number and you have a 12 volt inverter it means you need to connect the batteries positive negative positive, negative, you need to connect the uh, batteries in series. Here is six volts, here is also six volts. So after connecting these batteries in series, what you have is 12 volts. Now, if you have a 48 volt inverter and the batteries you have, at times uh, those batteries or the inverter, they are uh, maybe the inverter, you receive it as a gift, maybe a birthday gift or it is given to you from the office or you, you know, from anywhere and you, you have the inverter already, but you need, uh, batteries to power that inverter for you to know the minimum number of batteries, uh, that are required to power a 48 volt inverter. And maybe what you have available in the market, there are only 12 volt batteries. What you do is to divide 48 volts by 12 volts. So 48 divided by 12 will give you four pieces of 12 volts batteries. Now these 12, four pieces, you need to connect them in series. This is positive. So you now connect them in series, positive to negative, positive to negative. So what you have here is, uh, this is your positive, this is your negative. What you have here is now 48 volts. DC. So we also have two volt batteries, but uh, the two volt batteries, most of them, their amperage is very high. Some you have uh, two volts, uh, the capacity in amp hours, maybe 500 amp hours. Some you have them two volts, 600 amp hours. 
we also have eight volt batteries. We have 12 volt batteries. So once you know the DC input voltage of your inverter, check, look at the back of the inverter. There's always a sticker. You will see it written there. You will see either 12 volts, maybe 1000 watts, or you see 48 volts, 10,000 watts. You can see uh, another one, 48 volts, 5,000 watts. You can see 24 volts, uh, 2,000 watts, or 3,500 watts. Some are rated in KVA, 3.5 KVA, 4 KVA. So once you know the voltage, the DC input voltage of the inverter, just divide that voltage by the voltage of the battery that you have. Whether it is 2 volts, it is 6 volts, it is 12 volts, 24 volts or 48 volts. So if you have a 12 volt inverter, you should know that you cannot use a 48 volt battery on that 12 volt inverter. If you have a 24 volt bat uh, inverter, you cannot use a 48 volt battery bank on that 24 volt in, uh, inverter. So what you need to do is to know your inverter DC input requirement. What I mean is that your inverter is uh, is 48 volts and you have a single unit of 24 volts battery. You cannot connect this 24 volts battery to this 48 volts inverter. The inverter will not be powered. It do not it do not on. Why? Because you have the the requirement, the minimum requirement uh, that's the DC uh, input voltage that is required for the inverter to be powered has not been met. So if you have 24 volts and your inverter is 48 volts and you connect this 24 volt to the 48 volts inverter, it will not on. And maybe you have uh, 20, uh, um, 24 volts inverter and you have a single unit of 12 volt battery. That battery, you cannot connect it to this 12, uh, 24 volt uh, inverter the inverter will not work so what you need is that you need minimum of two pieces of uh, two pieces of uh, 12 volt battery to connect to, uh, in series to give you 24 volts because a single unit is just 12 volts so you cannot connect that 12 volts to a 24 volt battery uh, by an inverter so you need another unit making it two units two pieces of 12 volt batteries connected in series to give you 24 volts why are you connecting in series because you want to increase the voltage when you connect in series voltage will increase but if you connect in parallel the capacity in amp hours will increase but the voltage will remain the same so that is why we are connecting in series so that we will be able to meet up with the inverters dc uh, impute voltage for that inverter to be powered so if you have 48 volts and you have six uh, volt batteries you have to divide 48 by six it will not give you the minimum number of batteries you need to connect in series to give you 48 volts now the next factor you need to take into consideration is your total daily energy consumption for example you have a 24 volt uh, inverter and you have two units of uh, you already know that you need a minimum of uh, two pieces of 12 volt batteries to connect in series to give you 24 volts but you know batteries are rated in both volts that's they have voltage and capacity in amp hours which is ah amp hours so you already know that the voltage is 12 volts so if i connect these two batteries in series that will give me 24 volts but you don't know uh the capacity of those batteries am i going to use two uh 12 volts uh, 50 amp hours am i going to use 12 volts 100 amp hours or am i going to use 12 volts uh, 200 amp hours what will determine you know the capacity that is the size of that battery is now your total daily energy consumption total daily energy consumption will now give you the total capacity of that battery bank. That is when you will know if you're going to use 12 volts, 200 amp hours, or you're going to use 12 volts, 100 amp hours. Now, if you know that uh, you, you have 
a minimum of two batteries. Those, that's the minimum you need. Now, if your daily energy consumption is high, you will know that I'm going to connect another set like this. You have the first set in series. And this bank is 24 volts, 200 amp hours. Now, what would determine whether you add another set, another two sets, if it is 24 volts and you want to add another battery, it must be two batteries because it is 24, 24 volts. So uh, if you are going to add another battery again, what will uh, make you take that decision is your total daily energy consumption. If your total daily energy consumption is high, it means the size of your battery bank, that is the capacity of your battery bank, whether it is 12 volts, it is uh, your that is your batteries. There are two volts. There are twelve volts or whatever. After connecting them in series to give you either twenty-four volts, uh, twelve volts, or forty-eight volts, what will now uh, uh, determine the size, the capacity of the battery bank is your total daily energy consumption, and that size or capacity of the battery bank will also help the inverter to run steady because the inverter is taking its power from the is drawing the power from the battery bank so if the battery bank is completely empty the battery bank is not fully charged the inverter will not function so uh you need to know you know the size of your battery bank and for you to calculate the size of your battery bank you need to know your total daily energy consumption you have to carry out a load audit i have videos on that uh on my youtube page so you can on my youtube channel sorry so you can go through them and see how to prepare a load uh, analysis table from there you can use the information you can use the data you know to size your battery bank and uh, you know know the minimum i mean uh, the total number of batteries you need now if you are adding this uh, if you are increasing this battery bank you add extra uh, two batteries it means you need a total of four pieces four pieces then if it is lithium a battery there are some that are uh, um, you know five kilowatt hour 10 kilowatt hour 15 kilowatt hour 48 volts or 20 uh, 24 volts it means you can connect that 24 volts to a 24 volt inverter so you don't need to connect all the because after connecting this in series connecting this in series you will now parallel them you connect them in parallel to, you know, increase the capacity in amp hours of the battery bank.